for our life. They want to we. They want to kill we. This is the village of Kutembomo in Cameroon being burned to the ground. For months now, images like these have been pouring out of Cameroon on social media. Some show burning villages, others record acts of torture and killing. Many are too graphic to show. Taken together, these films show a country sliding into civil war as the government tries to suppress an armed insurgency. So, what's going on? Africa Eye has analyzed some of these videos, checked them against satellite imagery, and spoken with eyewitnesses on the ground. For the first time, we show you who is committing these atrocities and why. This is a conflict that has been building for decades. At its root is a division between Cameroon's French-speaking majority and its English-speaking minority, concentrated in the west of the country. The Cameroons celebrated their newly won independence. Something to bang the big drum about. After Cameroon gained independence in 1960, the two parts of the country formed a single nation. Even then, some English speakers felt they'd been forced into the new republic. Ever since, Anglophones have complained that their regions are neglected and excluded from power. We went to court today. They refused us to enter the court. The current conflict began in 2016 when lawyers, students and teachers took to the streets to protest. Activists were arrested and several protesters were shot by security forces. The crackdown intensified Anglophone resentments, fueling demands for secession and transforming this into an increasingly violent rebellion. By late 2017, separatists were symbolically proclaiming the independence of a new state that they call Ambazonia. We want our liberation. We want to be free from our republic. Since then, there have been reports of atrocities on all sides, kidnappings, extrajudicial killings, and burnings of villages. This is one of those villages, seen in a video recorded in April this year. The film shows a unit of at least 13 soldiers setting fire to a house. The location can be confirmed by matching buildings to satellite imagery, as well as by fire damage in this subsequent video from the same village. These men appear to be government troops. The fatigues, the helmets, and the black webbing are all consistent with those worn by Cameroon's Rapid Intervention Battalion, an elite army unit that has been trained by U.S. and Israeli forces. Here they are again in a 2016 video seen with the distinctive VIR on their webbing. A local resident told the BBC that the troops who destroyed houses in Azi belonged to the BIR. But a government minister said that the identity of the men in this video is unclear. A few days later, in early May, this video was posted to Facebook. We've examined the footage frame by frame and confirmed that this was filmed in the village of Kukembomo. This satellite image is from April 16, 2018. Lower resolution imagery from after the raid clearly shows that by May 22nd, many of these buildings have been destroyed. Amateur footage also captured an attack on the village of Munyenge on April 29th. 
This video shows the town center ablaze and reveals this distinctive landmark, which can be seen again in a video of the aftermath posted on May 4th. Satellite imagery from before and after this attack shows the extent of the destruction. The BBC has spoken with three residents of Munyenge who all say that the village was destroyed by government forces. These are not isolated incidents. Analysis of satellite imagery shows extensive fire damage in villages across the southwest region. Kwakwa. Bole. Kumukumu. Ekora. We cannot confirm who was responsible for torching these villages. But lawyer and activist Agbo Nkongo blames government forces. From reports that we gathered, we've done um, some investigation. We've gone to some of the villages. Um, there'll be at least close to 70 villages that, um, that you know, have been abandoned, have been burned down. The government denies this. Obviously, the government will not the towns of the day. Government forces have also been accused of unlawful killings and torture. This video, recorded in May 2018, appears to show Cameroonian gendarmes torturing a separatist commander. The full video is too graphic to show, but the men inflicting this beating are repeating the phrase, you've killed gendarmes, no? Our analysis of the video places it outside the National Gendarmerie in the village of Nkongle. The government told us that they are investigating this incident. It's not just the government committing these abuses. Separatist rebels have also killed Cameroonian security forces and attacked civilians accused of working with the government. Cameroonian authorities say that 81 members of the security forces and more than 100 civilians have been killed by separatists in the past year. The rebels have also attacked and burnt down schools. This teacher was shot for keeping his school open. This new video shows a village chief being beaten, apparently by a rebel militia. His tormentors are threatening to kill him if the government doesn't respond within 24 hours. Thousands of families have been forced from their homes by the fighting. 21,000 people have fled across the border into Nigeria. The UN estimates that a further 160,000 are displaced within Cameroon. Who have run away from the attack. That's absolutely okay. Many, like the people shown in this video, are still hiding in the forest.